Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ of Design of Reinforced Concrete in the topic of Design of Flat Slab. So the first question, thickened part of flat slab over its supporting column is technically known as Option A, Drop Panel, Option B, Capital, Option C, Column Head, Option D, None of the above. So the correct answer is Option A, Drop Panel. So next question, a flat slab is supported Option A on a column Option C on columns monolithically built with slab. Option D all the above. So the correct answer is option C on columns monolithically built with the slab. So next question the minimum thickness of flat slab is taken. Option A L by 32 for end panels without drops. Option B L by 36 for end panels without drops. Option C L by 36 for interior panels without drop. Option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. So next question, enlarged head of supporting column of flat slab is technically known as option A top of the column, option B capital, option C drop panel, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B capital. So next question, the diameter of the column head supported a flat slab is generally kept option A 0.25 times the span length, option B 0.25 times the diameter of the column, option C 4 cm larger than the diameter of the column, option D 5.0 cm larger than the diameter of the column. So the correct answer is option E 0.25 times the span length. So next question, critical section for shear in case of flat slabs is the distance of option A D by 2 from the periphery of the column divided by capital or drop panel, option B effective depth of slab from periphery of column or drop panel, option C at the drop panel of the slab, option D at the periphery of the column. So the correct answer is option A D by 2 from the periphery of the column or capital or drop panel. So next question, in flat slab, draw were provided to resist option A, tensile force, option B, shear stress, option C, thrust, option D, torsion. So the correct answer is option B, shear stress. So next question, as per IS456, minimum thickness of flat slab is not less than option A, 100 mm, option B, 120 mm, option C, 125 mm, option D, 150 mm. So the correct answer is option C, 125 mm. So next question, as per IS456, column strip means a design strip dash on each side of the column center line. Option A, having a width of 0.25 L2 but not greater than 0.25 L1. Option B, having a width of 0.25 L2. Option C, having a width of 0.25 L1. Option D, having a width of 1500 mm. So the correct answer is option A having a width of 0.25 L2 but not greater than 0.25 L1. So next question, middle strip of flat slab is defined as the design strip bounced on each of the opposite sides by option A shear strip, option B central strip, option C column strip, option D bending strip. So the correct answer is option C column strips. So next question, Thickness of the flat slab shall be generally controlled by consideration of option A span to effective depth ratio, option B span to effective width ratio, option C span to column strip ratio, option D span to middle strip ratio. So the correct answer is option A span to effective depth ratio. So next question, as per IS456, flat slab shall be permissible to analyze and design by option A, direct design method, option B, equivalent frame method, option C, both A and B, option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option C, both A and B. So next question, direct design method is applicable only for the flat slab panel having option A shorter to longer span ratio shall not be greater than 2.0, option B larger to shorter span ratio shall not be greater than 2.0, option C longer to shorter span ratio shall not be less than 2.0, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B larger to shorter span ratio shall not be greater than 2.0. So next question, for direct design method, minimum continuous span in each direction shall be option A4, option B1, option C3, option D2. So the correct answer is option C3. So next question, for design of flat slab by direct design method, the total design moment 
shall be taken as option a w l n divided by 8 option b w l divided by 2 option c w l divided by 24 option d w l so the correct answer is option a w l divided by 8 so next question for flat slab circular support shall be treated as square support having the same option a moment of inertia option b area option c length option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b area so next question in an interior span negative design moment shall be distributed as dash proportion of total design moment option a 0 0.65 option b 0 0.35 option c 0 0.10 option d 0 0.50 so the correct answer is option a 0 0.65 so next question in the interior span Positive design moment shall be distributed as dash proportion of the total design moment. Option A 0 0.65, option B 0 0.10, option C 0 0.20, option D 0 0.35. So the correct answer is option D 0 0.35. So next question, effect of pattern loading for flat slab shall be checked when ratio of live load to dead load exceeds option A 0 0.1, option B 0 0.2, option C 0 0.8, option D 0 0.5 so the correct answer is option D 0 0.5 so next question column strip shall be designed to resist dash percentage of the total positive moment option A 10 percentage option B 25 percentage option C 60 percentage option D 90 percentage so the correct answer is option C 60 percentage so next question at an interior support the column strip shall be designed to resist dash percentage of total negative moment option a 60 percentage option b 75 percentage option c 20 percentage option d 40 percentage so the correct answer is option b 75 percentage so next question permissible shear stress for flat slab shall be calculated as option a ks into tau c option b tau c option c ks tau c divided by 20 option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a ks divided by tau c so next question in limit state method design shear stress of concrete for punching shear check shall be considered as option a 0 0.10 root of fck option b 0 0.25 root of fck option c root of fck option d 0 0.50 root of fck so the correct answer is option b 0 0.25 root of fck so next question the nominal shear stress in flat slab shall be taken as option a v option b v by b naught option c v divided by b naught into d option d v by d so the correct answer is option c v divided by b naught into d so next question the span to effective depth ratio for flat slabs are calculated on the basics of option a shorter span option b longer span option c both a and b option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b longer span so next question the spacing of bar in flat slab should not be greater than option A 2 times the slab thickness, option B 5 times the slab thickness, option C slab thickness, option D 10 times the slab thickness. So the correct answer is option A 2 times the slab thickness. So next question, the drop shall have a length at least dash of the panel length in the direction. Option A 1 third, option B 2 third, option C half, option D 1 fourth. So the correct answer is option A one third. So next question, column head result in option A increase shear strength, option B reduce moment in slab by reducing effective span, option C both A and B, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option C both A and B. So next question, drop for the flat slab result in option A increase shear strength, option B increase negative moment capacity, option c reduction of deflection option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question provision of flat slab in the place of slab beam construction benefits option a reduction in storage height option b shorter construction time option d is option c easy form work option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above again we will see in next video thank you